Alright, so I'm closing this TV. I had to open it to look at the board, motherboard number. But if somebody has uh, Samsung UN65 NU710 DFXZA, uh, there are no screws. But if you try to force the back cover, it will break. Basically, you see this. It's on the top side. The, uh, that's the bottom side. On the top, you just have to lift the cover just enough with the screwdriver uh, one screwdriver here and the other one like here then you have to pry this this side and this one this side same thing on the top you do this with this and that and then cover will pop up but otherwise no I uh, will try to I have to uh, if I end up ordering a new board right now I just cleaned it with isoprol alcohol if I end up ordering a new board and I have to reopen, I will try to make a video. Otherwise, there is a good video on YouTube. Uh, you can search. But yeah, these are the... These go that way and this come this way. And if you can see the other side, there is nothing stopping it. So all you have to do is stick something like a screwdriver or a butter knife. I use butter knife and I was able to take it out. Never mind, I'm going to just try to demonstrate what I meant this basically this is all you will get and from here this is all you this is how much space you will get uh, without breaking the cover make sure that you stick to uh, something like a screwdriver or something on this side and this side and then use butter knife uh, it really helps if you have a flashlight and then all you have to do is by this way stick a butter knife in grab that uh, metal bar hook and take it take it to this side and this one from here towards me all right so I just changed this board it is the old one and I turned it on it worked uh, it wanted to go to setup because it's a new board but I don't want to do it uh, while the screen is down I'm gonna do it once uh, I put it back and place it I really want to quickly wanted to show you how it looks like so inside it goes like this you can see all the way here so these are the two ridges uh, if camera is capturing it correctly it's it's inside it's like this if it's not it's like uh, laid down and for this you go from here try to stand it up and then I am using this butter knife just uh like stick it inside and then try it with both hands firmly uh don't yank it firmly steadily take this out same thing here and there are two on the other side right there you can see i lay already laid it so how you close it uh without putting the lid on just uh slide them slide them here like the 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 they usually are and then push the cover in and it will lock automatically how, how that mechanism works I have no idea but it works and very happy uh, I bought it uh, 30 bucks plus tax on eBay this card uh, there were some more expensive $50 I just saw this and I got it yeah, beautiful 30 bucks saved me maybe probably the TV we we're looking at was $1,500. I know there are cheaper TVs for $500, but we really like the screen, uh, the picture quality, and we wanted a Sony one. Uh, this is Samsung, but really happy. All right, hopefully this video has helped anybody else. Oh, the symptoms were on the TV that uh, it won't turn on with the remote we could see a light very light blue hue so we knew it's working so uh but if you press the if you have like a roku or i had a google chrome cost tv yeah, i pressed accidentally press a button on there and the screen was there so it, it looks like the board was bad so it was not getting the input from the remote but uh with the google chrome we had the full screen for audio, we did uh, to check the audio. I bought a like a fifteen dollar Bluetooth uh, speaker from Walmart, 
connected it to my via Bluetooth to my Google Chrome and audio worked fine so I knew that a hey, screen is working uh, it's the the board all right hopefully this helps if it has please rate comment and subscribe and share